welcome back attorney steve vondra and welcome to another exciting video today we are talking star maker the star maker app and does this violate uh, violate copyright infringement laws do, do you need to be concerned about copyright in any manner let's take a little deeper dive shall we and i have the eula the terms of service i printed out i signed up for the app today yes i did I, do, I have a lot of legal talent, but I also have a lot of singing talent. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyway, I signed up today to see what's going on. I have a potential case, um, but I'm not going to go into right now. But I want people to, to uh, think about this app. It's, it's a really interesting app. I signed up. It's really basically like a karaoke social media where you can chat and post, post things, uh, a lot like Instagram or Facebook. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, actually, I really liked it. And so you can get this on the App Store, as you can sing here, see here. Sing with 50 million plus music lovers and uh, Star Maker Interactive Inc. So let's take a look. Obviously, you can download that if you like through the App Store or wherever else you get your apps. Okay, so I'm going to just go now into um, basically going over this, the terms of the EULA, things that you should be aware of. Now, these apps will get a lot of kids, okay, because kids love singing. Um, you know, everybody grows up singing and dancing, at least most people do. I, I did. I enjoy it uh, for fun. But um, this app allows you to basically download, not download, to pick certain songs that have the karaoke theme behind it, to play, basically play the music and give you the lyrics. So you can sort of look at your handheld here and and you can basically just play, push play, go into the app and you know start singing it. It's got the words right there. So it will record your it will record your voice. I like to use this little microphone if you're going to do it. You get this little microphone in for your iPhone. It's really cool. It's a sure microphone. It's very cool, so it makes it better sound. You always want to try to get the best sound, right? So at any rate, so you can log, download, log in, pick your songs. You can post your songs through the network. You can share it to other sites like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, email it, grab the link, certain different things. So, but, um, you know, the question is, can you use this? Can you, can you make these videos and then go commercialize it? Can you start posting it all over uh, your YouTube channel and different things, commercialize it? And so that's really what we're talking about. The answer is not... Um, it is somewhat clear. They do tell you to use this for non-commercial purposes. So as you know, the songs in there, like I picked, picked up one song, Brian Adams, okay? Uh, heaven, you're in heaven. And that song's obviously copyrighted by Brian Adams, and there may be other rights holders to the music. So um, they have the underlying rights. So you don't get, uh, when you make a song with this application, you don't get the copyrights. You don't become the copyright holder of the song all of a sudden, Okay. Um, that's important to know. So um, it's also important to know uh, parents when your kids are signing up for this. Like I said, there's a lot of kids under 18. In California, for example, where their disputes, their contract says all disputes will be resolved in California. Um, there's a waiver of jury fee, a jury trial in here. And so question is when kids are under 18 and they're signing into your applications, generally minors, their contracts are voidable. That means it doesn't, they're not void. Some people think, well, it's void. I'm, I'm under 18. And I, I signed it when I was 16. I signed into your app and I put, I agree. So uh, I'm under 18. If you're under 18, it's not void, it's voidable. It's voidable. So you can disaffirm or disavow the contract under California state law. Now, I don't know what the, juris the rules are in your jurisdiction. This is just general legal advice, uh, general legal information, not legal advice. So check your jurisdiction, check with a local attorney. But, but by and large, um, under 18 is, in many cases, the age of minority. Minority, when you're 18, it's the age of majority. So if you're under 18 and you enter into one of these, and next thing you, need, you see, your videos are being blasted up on YouTube. Star Maker does have a uh, YouTube channel. Let's see if I can find that here real quick. Let's go to my handy. Um, let's go Star Maker. Let's go to Google here first. So they do have a channel, Star Maker YouTube. There it is. Let's go to that channel and see there. So that you do see, uh, they do have um, what they call Star Maker India, 175,000 subscribers. So you might 
see your videos posted on here and they're most popular and looks like they have different contests and whatnots. But so you may say, well, why, why is my video being posted up there of my kid? The videos of my kid, does that violate their right of publicity? Um, in California, the right of publicity is the right to the, the commercial exploitation of your name, your image, your likeness, okay? You, everybody has the right to control their own image, name, and likeness. That's called the right of publicity in California. Not all states have this. New York has a right of publicity law, but not all states have this. So check your jurisdiction. But let's go over real quick. I want to just hit some of the high points here. The app is jointly operated by Candies with a Q, Candies Limited and Star Maker Interactive Inc. Um, I'm just going to hit the high points. You're con you consent to the collection, use, and disclosure of your personally identifiable information. The product is sold on is licensed on an as-is basis. And it says here again, any disputes will be resolved through binding arbitration, waiving a jury trial. Okay, you generally you have a right to a jury trial, but if you consent and you waive it, it's gone. Bye bye. You agreed. You agreed to waive your rights. Now the question becomes with the underage kids, they're under let's say 14, 15, 16 years old, can they consent? Can they consent to these agreements or can they disavow them, giving them like no, no effect, no legal effect at all? That's the question, okay? Um, and I'm not going to answer that in this video. Hey, what happened to my light? Um, anyway, um, they have monthly subscriptions. So maybe it's time to go. I guess it is getting kind of late here, isn't it? <laughs> so rise. Don't give up on me here. Um, at any rate... Other things, you have no rights to compensation. In return for enjoying a free or subscription-based access, you acknowledge and agree that Star Maker may generate revenues, increase goodwill, or otherwise increase the value of Star Maker, I just showed you, from your use of the service, and you will have no right to share in such revenue. So you're giving up your rights by using this app you're giving up your rights to say hey you're making a million dollars on my song i want part of that so it's very important to understand this okay um you're giving that up jurisdictional issues again state of california for any disputes i'm not going to go over that um here it's the part with copa this is the children's online privacy protection laws when you have kids that are under 13 signing up for the application for applications and services on the internet there needs to be parental consent okay so i went through the app there was a mechanism to send an email to get that parental consent they did ask for your date of birth so they are trying to verify that um, it says here the service is not for persons under the age of 18 or for any other users previously suspended or removed from the service by StarMaker. If you're under 18 years of age, you must not use or access the service at any time or in any manner. So again, what happens if a kid under 18 gets in there and agrees to these terms, but then wants to disavow these terms? What happens? I'm just asking questions here. Um, the service allows you to create audio, visual, or audio only works. You sing along with the lyrics. Now remember with lyrics, lyrics are copyrighted. So if you have, if you're a songwriter, big money in songwriting, the songwriters make all the money as they say, but you can copyright your lyrics, copyright them with the United States Copyright Office. So you're, you're basically getting those words displayed on their app. You are singing those words and you're create, creating a final user piece of content, a user content. Okay, um, again, you can post it through the app. What else? Um, one thing I like to talk about is parody or transformation. If you like to use videos and you want to rely on like a fair use, a fair use argument, fair use means you're only using a little bit or you're transforming the work into something else or a parody can be deemed transformative. You're making fun of the song, making fun of the song itself. That can be deemed a parody, okay? And that can be protected by fair use. So, you know, in other words, even if you use it, you could be protected. But we always tell people fair, fair use is like shooting at the king. You better not miss because you get it wrong. You're going to end up in court, fees, this, that. You find an aggressive plaintiff out there and music companies can be very aggressive, let me tell you. Okay, so be careful in how you're doing that. Um, 
Licensing rights. So here's where they talk about the non-commercial use. I just want to, this I think is pretty important. Subject to your complete and ongoing compliance with this EULA, E-U-L-A, end user license agreement, Star Maker hereby grants you a revocable, they can revoke it, non-exclusive, they can license to other people, non-transferable, you can't transfer to somebody else, non-sublicensable, royalty-free, worldwide right and license to access and use the service solely for your personal non-commercial use. So it says it right there in the EULA. Uh, if you're over 18, you agree to these things. I mean, I think you're, you know, look, courts will enforce these, what they call click wrap. You click your mouse you, and you agree. Um, bold capital letters. Your use of library tracks is strictly limited to the use within the service and as authorized by this EULA. Any use outside the service, outside their service, or in violation of this EULA is unauthorized and may subject you to infringement liability. Okay, so it's very important to understand the terms you're agreeing to. By the way, this is one of the longer EULAs I've seen in my lifetime. This is 11 pages of very... You can see here, very, very thick, heavy, lots of, lots of content, lots of stuff. If you don't know what you're doing, if you want to make a commercial use, you're trying to do parodies and, you know, fun little clips, fair use clips, hire an intellectual property entertainment lawyer, somebody that can guide you through the forest to make sure you're doing the right thing here, okay? Um, and it says, user tracks. Nothing in this EULA grants you a license to reproduce, distribute, publicly perform, communicate to the public, synchronize or otherwise use and exploit any third-party content, including but not limited to user tracks in your user recordings. You are, this is a part that I put a question mark here, you are solely responsible for clearing the rights to any third-party content, including but not limited to user tracks for use in user recordings. So what does that mean? I don't know. Um, I guess if I had to really dig down to it, I would uh, find out more about that. But um, it's very interesting. It does say that you are solely responsible for clearing the rights so um, to any third-party content. Well, most of the stuff on here is third-party content. Um, but I do believe that Star Maker does license some of these songs or the words or the karaoke tracks. But um, I don't know all the inner mechanisms, so... But it's important for you to know that, okay? It's important for you to know that. What else? Uh, you don't get the copyrights to the songs you make. You may sing You may sing the most perfect song, All the Birds Are Flying Down from Heaven. It's the most beautiful song in the entire world. And it doesn't mean you have the rights to it, okay? It says right here, subject to any third-party rights, uh, excuse me, you hereby grant Star Maker, you hereby grant, Star Maker, an unrestricted, assignable, sublicensable, revocable, royalty-free license throughout the universe to reproduce, distribute, publicly display, communicate to the public, publicly perform. This should be a song. Maybe I'll write a copyright song. Publicly perform, including the means of, or a little, it would be a rap, I think. Including the means of digital audio transmissions and on through to an audience basis, make available creative derivative works from restraint from external sites and otherwise exploit and use, collectively use all or any part of all user content you post to or through the service by any means and through any media formats now known or hereafter developed for the purposes. Anyway, point is, you're giving them the rights. You don't get the copyrights, okay? I'm going to save you. A lot of jibber jabber had a lot of stuff outlined. You want to screenshot that and read it, read my notes, go for it. Okay, not going to go on. So that's the, the basics of what I wanted you to know. Uh, I don't want this video to go on forever. That's the basics. But folks, I know there's a lot of apps. There's a lot of things online. There's things you sign up for. Everybody's clicking, I agree. Nobody takes the time to read it. Then they go do whatever they want to do. Next thing you know, you find out you got to... You post it on your YouTube and you get a takedown, you get a copyright strike, or somebody tries to monetize your content, whatever, okay? Or even worse, wants to pick up copyright fight with you and, and have a federal court lawsuit. So read these EULAs. If you're underage, get your parents involved. Make sure they know what you're doing. And parents, now we're, we got the stay-at-home orders. 
stay home, take the time. Now you have some extra time on your hands. See what your kids are doing. Take an interest in what they're doing. Sit down, go through the license when they probably may not understand, but take the time and go down, sit down with them and explain these things. These EULAs are subject to change, so they could change. This is just um, accurate as of, uh, what's today, 424. This is what I pulled down today, 424.20. So these can change, but it's important to understand that, okay? And so I'll be doing another video. You may wanna bookmark me. I'm gonna be talking about voiding contracts when you're a minor. Minors voiding their contracts, okay? If it's not for necessities, food, shelter, clothing, those kinds of things, health, you may be able to void your contract. I'm talking about the state of California. Most states have something similar, I would assume, but I'm licensed in California, I'm licensed in Arizona, that's it. And this is general legal information only, once again, and not legal advice. So I hope that brings you some insight on Star Maker. You may be the next star. You may have the voices that are calling down from the angels, but make sure you get the proper legal representation to represent you to make sure you're doing things right. And you know, if you've got something really good, maybe you know this is a good place maybe to get discovered in the uh, karaoke universe. But you might want to have a lawyer on your side before you sign these contracts, before you start um, creating products, things like that. Okay. Thanks for watching, Attorney Steve Vondren. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you back here Monday. I don't think I'm going to do any more videos this week. So, but thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe. Getting close to 20,000. And you guys, you guys keep me going. You keep this content coming. You make me want to, for all your great comments and likes and all that stuff. Even the ones that don't like me. Okay, they say, I don't like you. But I'll, I don't like all your videos. <laughs> I say, that's okay. Anyway, have a great weekend. We'll see you again. Take care. Bye now.